Well, as the song goes, it's summertime and the living's easy. Unfortunately, a lot of us make it easy for criminals, too. Corporal Sean Vincent of the Baltimore County Police Department is here with some real-world suggestions on how to be smart and stay safe this summer. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me today. So, summertime, you're, you're home, you're out in the yard, um, maybe you're doing yard work. What are some things that people should be conscious of? Some of the crimes that we've actually seen in the county is the, that the homeowner's in the backyard and somebody's breaking into the front of the house. So keep your doors locked all the time, even if you're outside just in front of your house. Keep the doors locked in the front and the back, and also keep your windows locked. Uh, we've seen windows burglars. Windows, too. Yes, we've seen burglars come in through the windows while the people are in the backyard or at a neighbor's house hanging out, and they come inside the house. So any opportunity that a burglar can take, they're going to take. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, something to be aware is to keep our sheds locked. Uh, we keep a lot of valuable things in our sheds. That's People true. Don't... Power tools. Yeah. Absolutely. Lawn equipment. Uh, these are all things that can be pawned. Really? Uh, burglars will take these items. They go to a pawn shop, a quick dollar that they turn over. So keeping your shed lock will keep these items safe also. Wow. So even if you're mowing the lawn and you just run up to the gas station to, to get gas for the mower just Absolutely. lock everything up. Huh? Lock everything up. Uh, unfortunately, burglars take any opportunity that they can get. So the harder you make it for them, the more safe that you'll be. Any suggestion about locks in general, deadbolts, anything like that? Uh, it, mostly any store will have a decent lock, uh, any kind of combination lock, a directional lock, uh, anything that'll, it, a key lock is also good. Uh, anything that's going to take the burglar longer, they'll move on. If they see that it's going to take them some time to get uh -huh. into something, they're going to move on to the next target. All right, and how about uh, the old-fashioned security system of a dog? Uh, a dog is great. Uh, yeah. yeah. Any kind of animal that's going to make it a loud noise. Uh, burglars don't like to encounter people. They don't like to encounter animals. Uh, uh -huh. they, they're taking, they're trying to take property as quick as possible and get out of the area without being seen. A uh, barking dog is going to attract attention, so that's a great idea if the dog is going to bark or something like that. Yeah. All right, and also in the summertime, you just, people are, there's more people out and about. Um, every once in a while, we'll have folks kind of walking, canvassing the neighborhood for all sorts of different things. What what do you suggest as far as that goes? So people will come up to your door and offer to repair your roof, uh, do some type of home repair. Always want people to be aware that there are scammers out there. There are people that are going to offer to tar your driveway. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not going to be using high quality products. The most important thing you should be checking for somebody that's going to work on your home is that they're licensed. Okay. They have to be licensed from the Maryland Home Improvement Commission. They should have a number and they should be displaying that either on their contract, on their vehicles, or on their uh, car business cards so you have to make sure that they're licensed to do the work and that's protect you just in case that works not done successfully or if there's some type of scam if you do think you're being scammed you can always call 911 just call 911 if you, you feel suspicious absolutely you can have an officer come out uh, that officer will investigate try to determine if this person's a legitimate company or if there's some type of scam and then we know it's on our radar at that point okay so if it seems too good to be true it probably is absolutely if they yeah. if it's a rock bottom price there's a reason why it's so cheap and it's not just that they're working in the neighborhood and have some leftover material that uh, sort of thing sometimes it might be true but yeah. you have to investigate and take it for what it is uh, if it's a, if it's really cheap there's a reason why it's so cheap and the most important thing is to make sure that they are licensed mm -hmm. I guess it's true pretty much anyone who's approaching you whether it's in your home or on the phone with an offer you have to put your guard up absolutely anytime that they're coming forward they just happen to be in the neighborhood or, or looking in their call you out of the blue uh, to see if you need anything uh, another situation that we see is that if there's a hurricane or a hailstorm, uh, you get all these companies coming out of the woodwork uh, looking for insurance work uh, work that's going to be covered by your insurance company make sure you work with there should be an adjuster if you are going to have have work done through your insurance company, work with your adjuster. Uh, they're aware of what the, the preventive measures that you can take to not be scammed. Okay, very good. And what about when you're not at home? If you're lucky enough to take a summer vacation down the beach or wherever you go, 
What about keeping your house safe while you're away? Sure. So the most important thing that we warn people with is lighting. Uh, that's ah. the cheapest way to keep your house safe. Uh, have exterior lighting with motion detectors. Uh, use light timers inside your house. Make sure your trees and your bushes are trimmed back so that you can see the house. You can see inside the windows and, it, and be able to quickly look at the house and make sure that the house is secure. You can always let a trusted neighbor know that you'll be away. And also you can contact the post office and your mail carrier, your mail carrier, or you can contact a newspaper company and have either your mail picked up by a neighbor or have them stop delivering while you're away. So it's not obvious that the home is empty. All right, and speaking of when you're away, what are some things you should do to, to stay safe while you're while you're out having fun? So if you are out of town, I know it's hard, but stay off of social media. Uh -huh. We have actually seen it. People post on Facebook, they'll post on Twitter. If you're if your posts are public, anybody can see that. Our burglars, they do their research. They, they study and they look for people that aren't going to be home. They're not going to want to encounter anyone that's home. So if they know you're out of town, if they know you're in Cancun or Puerto Rico, yeah, and you really post it on there, away. they know that pets aren't going to be inside. They know that you're not going to be there, so they're going to come in the house. Okay, and um, sometimes if we're going away for a long trip, we'll kind of let our credit card companies know that if they see um, transactions from elsewhere that it really is us. Yes. Is that, are there other things you yes. should do? So bank com uh, the banks and the credit card companies, they do have people that are monitoring your credit and they'll look and see if there's some unusual charges. So you can call ahead of time. If you're gonna travel out of the country, you can purchase that currency ahead of time and have that with you so that you don't have to do any kind of exchange when you're there. Mm. Uh, you wanna protect your credit information as much as possible. Nowadays, uh, We've seen a lot of scams of them copying credit cards, yeah. using your credit card numbers. Uh, anybody can be a victim of identity theft. Uh, if you do believe you've been a victim, you can contact uh, three credit bureaus and they can put a credit alert on all of your credit and you can notify the bank or the credit card company that, that, you've been, that you belong to. So even while you're enjoying yourself, you still need to stay aware and alert. Absolutely. If you see something suspicious, call 911. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me today. Sure, and thank you for watching Hello Baltimore County. We encourage you to connect with Baltimore County government on all of our social media platforms.